Jamal Hill will be attending numerous schools here in San Diego. He joins us now with the details of why he's here. Jamal, I'm so impressed with your story and just your your willingness to, to give back your mission in life. It, it's so inspiring and you have a book yes. that kind of addresses <laughs> it. I, I, have, I have so many questions, I'm, I'm not even sure where to start, but let's start with the fact that you're here in town yes. and right after this interview, yes. you're going to visit schools in the Lemon Grove School District. Absolutely, so thank you for having me first and foremost and uh, thank lovely San Diego, thank the Le Lemon Grove School District for, uh, for having us. We're gonna be visiting six schools across today and tomorrow, elementary schools, roughly about 1,200 students and all of those second to fourth graders are actually gonna get a signed copy of that, so uh, really, really excited about bringing this message of disability awareness, self-confidence, and swim education to these youth. Yeah, because you, as, as, as your journey of a Paralympic swimmer went on, you mm -hmm. decided that you had this dream of teaching one million what you call aquaphobic kids to swim, <laughs> right? Absolutely. And this, this book is helping you achieve that goal. Mm -hmm. You have a foundation called Swim Uphill. Yes, ma'am. Uh, how did the journey into Paralympic swimming come yeah. about after your diagnosis with your neurological condition at 10? Absolutely. So uh, with my neurological condition, Charcot Marie Tooth, we'll just call it CMT for short, uh, I actually was able to live with that condition for about 12 years, unbeknownst to anyone beside my parents. Right. You know, I don't fit that stigma of disability that most people associate, whether it be an amputee or or a hearing aid for, for uh, you know, somebody hearing impaired. So I was really laying low. I was blending <laughs> in. Uh, and what kid really wants to be different, right? What mm -hmm. kid really wants to, it's already hard enough being a kid, right? Um, so friends, you, you name it, nobody ever knew. And it wasn't until I left college after my third year with the hope of becoming a professional Olympic swimmer, uh, still living in a lot of shame, still living in a lot of cognitive dissonance surrounding my disability, that, uh, that I met my current swim coach. And, and after, pretty much after some conversation and, and after a year of training with her, she's like, there's something going on here, right? I see the way that you pick your legs up with your hands to get out of the car, the way you go to jump, you don't really leave the ground. What is that? And, and that was actually the first person I shared my disability within a dozen years. Wow. Um, so, so that was a really, really powerful moment of self-acceptance for me. And that's how I got onto the Paralympic track. So, and we should say that it, it, uh, with, with your condition, it affects the mm -hmm. muscles uh, and... Absolutely. I got, it affects, affects the muscles, it affects my peripheral nerves. So like in layman's terms, from my knees to the soles of my feet, I have 0% nerve capacity. Wow. So it feels like I'm walking on my knees. I've gotten really good at it. You would never know. <laughs> uh, and then from my elbows to my fingertips, I have about 30% nerve capacity. Yeah, because I mean, y you come walking in a room and you're this <laughs> tall, big, strong guy and you, yeah. you wouldn't know. And then you here you know. are dealing with this. I think it's an important reminder to kind of always, you know, you never know what, what's going on We're in someone's situation. We're all dealing with something, you know, 100%, right? whether it's physical, mental, emotional, and we're all facing challenges that no one else knows every single day. And we should mention that uh, in 2020 in the Paris Summer Olympics, <laughs> you won the bronze medal hey, in man, the 50 know, meter race. It's a great time, right? <laughs> great time to <laughs> great show, time. show that uh, hard work. Really off. a pleasure, you know, to represent Team USA. <laughs> And uh, obviously the Paralympic Games is a collection of the best athletes from all over the world uh, with different types of impairments. Uh, that said, most of those athletes don't come home with a necklace. So it really is a great honor to, uh, to have come home with some hardware. So what do you want the children that you're gonna be speaking with today to, to walk away with? What's, what's your messaging to them? You know what, that's a great question. Really the message uh, is to just dream big. Right to come in and to share my story and to let them know that whatever challenges they're going to, and, and for a lot of those kids, I know for a lot of my classmates growing up, school was actually the safe place. Uh, their homes were not the best environment. The, the, the environment they're growing up in is not the best environment. So when we can bring inspiring figures into our school system, not only to support our children, but to support our teachers, we're just gonna have a much brighter future. So that's it. I want the kids to have a good fun, have some fun, uh, be excited about reading the story, and. And, and, and have a wild dream walking out of today. All right, where can people find Sammy Swims? Absolutely, so <laughs> you, you know, I got, I got to break it to them, unfortunately. These beautiful hardcover copies, these are exclusive only for the schools that we're visiting, uh, only for those students, but anyone can join the fun on Amazon, uh, just search in Sammy Swims. We have, you know, lovely soft color copies, coloring books, teacher's guides, and of course, you should follow along with our work at the foundation at swimuphill.org. 
swimuphill.org. Yes. Thanks for being you. This is uh, an incredible story. It's incredible work you're doing. And uh, we're just we're better off for having your story being shared okay. here in San Diego <laughs> schools. So thank you so much, Jamal. Thank you. Appreciate it.